Yep, so, let's put LABs to work. But let's do it in the red, green, blue color space. In other words, work in red, green, blue. But think, use your head in LAB. Here we have an image that's pretty much straight out of the hammer. And by looking at it, even with a calibrated monitor, my eye is not very well calibrated. And so I may or may not see that there is any kind of color fast in this image. <laughs> However, LAB can tell us because certain things are within certain ranges. Neutrals have A equals to zero and B equals to zero. Very simple, very, very simple. Things that are green, like leaves, have a A value that's a negative value and a B value that is in the yellow, so it's a positive value. And there's no skin tones here, but there are values that are prescribed for acceptable values for skin tone. <laughs> Just start out using this, we're going to use the info pad, which normally reads out red, green, and blue, and something else. This something else we're going to change into LAB readout. So it will read the LAB equivalence simultaneously of red, green, and blue. So right up here, and I'm going to look in the side right now, there's kind of a highlight in the side. I'm going to write it on here. And you will notice that it's reading red, green, and blue. But it's showing me that the A sound is not zero, and neither is the B. Our job is to make them zero. Now, this means because the A sound is zero, it is too green. I will go over to the green sound and make it less by a certain amount. And that was just a guess, but it's pretty good. You notice I got, I got into the new zero. Ooh. But now, what do I have? Ah, the B sound is too blue. So I will go to the B sound, and I will make the B sound somewhat less blue. And now I will set it in. I am very, very nearly equal to zero. Very nearly equal to zero. I might have to do, oh, there we go. That's a zero. So I have fixed the whites of the side. They are now useful. But what do I have in my shadows? Well, my shadows, I'm going to look at this shadow down here, for example. Where is that one right there? That shadow is not a problem. The A shadow is five, so it's too red. The B sound is nine, so it's too low. Since we have the blue curve up, we just want to go ahead and add some blue, which removes yellow. There's somewhere on in there. We have made it better, but not by enough, apparently. Somewhere around in there might be better. Now, look, everything's turning purple for us. So we've made things better. Let's go over to that green sound and made it here. Ooh, really hurts. We still have too much blue. And so what I'm trying to use is such a level of blue and green so that they are much more neutral. And this is taking a lot in the shadows. And that's kind of common. So here is, this is your move back. Ooh, I'm very close. And you know, I would stop right there. The other thing that we need to worry about is rings. And we need to have these rings right. Right now, there's too much yellow in this ring. And your eye might tell you that, but 
by the A cell is negative 6, which is 5. The B cell is 16. That's more than twice the absolute value of 6. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of blue. So blue is right here. Here we are with the blue. And right around in here somewhere, and it's almost at zero. I'm going to have to add a little bit of blue right there. I don't want it everywhere. Just along in there. And now you will notice that my green amount has come up and my blue amount has fallen. We've gotten now a very good green. So, what have we done? Let's turn on and off the layer. Come on, baby. We got a much better I mean, Now, luminosity is changing, so one of the things I'm going to do is lab is changing color. We're doing a color correction. Let's look at this. Look how much better that made it. Wow. That made the right green. Let's look at the sky. Let's look at this close up. Perfect. Better. Let's look at this sky. Over here is the sky. I mean, it's so magnified. Something like that, maybe. Beautiful. You see all that, everything happening here. This, we just an RGB, and we just made a very good color correction to this image. And I was using the LAB values, and knowing what they should be, I set them what they should be, and everything is great. Now, uh, before I go on, we'll accept questions.